9-11 to the plague of COVID-19? I didn't know a lot of things that I didn't know. I didn't, we're gonna go downstairs, we're gonna watch the movie, so. You need to know what's going on. Terrorist, the Twin Towers. And I'm gonna look this up and I'm gonna look that up. Self with the Bible. So many mystery. We have to get ready. It's movies, they need to see it. In which the towers had fallen. Tell me your thoughts on the movie. I loved it. It, um, all the 9-11s, all of this, the similarities to Israel and to just know where we are today and to know that we have to turn back to God and that we need to pray and that God loves us and like he said, if my people who are called by his name, if we humble ourselves and pray and turn from our wicked ways, he will heal from heaven and he will heal our land. But to know that that what's going on right now in the world, that prayer can change things and God will forgive us and he will see about us. So I was also excited because Jonathan Khan is someone I dreamed about years ago when I had a vision of the ICU room where he entered in and said the last time that these are end time diseases that was going on. And then I seen him being interviewed on a program and I knew that was the prophet that was in my dream. And then he said, some people said they have dreamed about me. Well, I'm one of those people. I'm one of those persons that dreamed about him. And I just praise God um, that God just shows us things. And I just praise God for how he just took his time and explained everything that was going on. And just was so exciting that you just want to tell everybody about it. You want everybody to see this movie. They need to see it because this is what's really going on. And for us not to be so caught up with the other things in the world but our plan is to obey God and do what he wants to do so that has excited me it has lighted a fire in me and I just want everybody to be saved I want everybody to repent starting with me make the change in me first that I can turn around and I can help somebody else yes what caught me was the show the watchers and start talking about the watchers and how they start blowing the show forth until that time where the attack happened at 9-11 before that had stopped, that got me. That was like a hit. I was like, oh, okay. So this lets me know that God, and then we know that God tells his people how to pray and sometimes we don't know why we're praying and what, what is God stopping. But yeah, that really touched me there that the watchers, the intercessors are uh, a big tool, a big tool in our kingdom. And then when he talked about the horns being blown, that's what really got me too, because it uh, sprung up a song that I'm gonna have coming out is the sound of the trumpet. It's announcing of God is coming and you gotta get ready. We have to get ready. And that sound that just kept coming in the inside. So, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This goes with that. So now I know that I have to get ready to complete this song. But yeah, time is winding up. We have to get ready. We gotta repent. Whatever stuff we did, knowing and unknowing, we gotta get ready.
people should see it. It's very uh, eye opener to how the Bible matches what stuff happened in Israel, matches what, what stuff happened here in America. So yeah, they need to see it. Cause I'm gonna go back home and just read some stuff now because now it makes me want to search. Yeah, so it was good. My thoughts and my feedback on the movie. The movie was marvelous. Um, it brought together so much that you, some things you kind of had an inkling went together, but you had no idea the real information. 9-11 is so significant. It was, it was marvelous. I love the information. I couldn't stop writing things down. Oh my goodness. It's like, okay, I'm going to go back and I'm going to look this up and I'm going to look that up because I want to know more about it. And the way he brought it forth, it just made you go, wow. Wow. So the, the movie Harbingers was very, I'm buying the books. I got to buy the books now. I got to read them. It was marvelous. To be honest with you, I had never heard of the Harbinger books. And um, now after seeing this movie and, and having um, uh, Jonathan Cain, uh, oh my gosh, I have to read the books now. They said the books are always better. <laughs> Okay. 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 What did you think of the movie? So for me, for the Harbingers, I feel like this was an excellent production. Um, I really do. It was really deep. It was really interesting. And I learned a lot, a lot of things that I didn't know, a lot of things that I didn't know. So overall, it was just a great production. And yeah, I, I was super excited to see it. I'm awesome. so happy I did. Awesome. So yeah, like she said, it was awesome. It was excellent. Um, it was, oh my gosh, it was like so many mysteries and truths to be revealed. And this movie right here was excellent. I believe the whole entire church and some needs to see this movie. Take life more serious. Think things through before you do it. Look at the bigger picture before you make certain decisions and choices. Um, speaking on everything that is something that is very very serious and I myself am, uh, went through those things and it has uh, definitely chastised me and corrected me and I feel I felt convicted feeling convicted of those things and just not doing those things no more just take those things more serious and those choices and you know we are his temple we are his church and you know our need is to be so now i know my everything now i want to be with me yay my main thought i might not have a whole lot of words but my main thought about it is i've never ever seen the bible or someone, you know, uh, uh, bring it together. It, it, the way it connected the dots. It, it connected the dots as to some things that have happened in the past, some things we're going through now. And to have it um, biblically explain what we're going through and why what we're going through, mainly because of being disobedient and walking away, walking away from God, right? Um, but just to be able to see the way that it was being explained and, and having the Bible to back it up. That part right there. And um, for me, for me personally, that I, I, I became really teary and like weepy, you know, at the at where they kept saying about turning away from God and walking away from God and and the punishment that comes, you know, from it, right? Um, so I really like personalized that. So that's where my teariness came in. My teariness came in like as a, oh God, forgive me. You know, I'm like, forgive us. I'm saying forgive us, but forgive me. You know, um, and then I was thinking about how, you know, when people talk about um, being a backslider, it's like even 
you know, it, it, you might not go totally back all at one time to where you used to be without God, but just to walk away from some of the things that I used to, you know, do, uh, be so, um, really like di diligent about reading my word every day and every you know certain times a day getting in my word every day talking to god you know in prayer and all of that you know so for me it really brought like true personal like oh god forgive me especially with connecting it with you know the 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 the, the COVID, the diseases that are coming, things, you know, the terrorists, the Twin Towers, all those things. I never really saw the connection with, we're being punished. We're being punished, you know, so, but all I can do is do my part. So that's what I, that's my thoughts about it. And if, like I said, for me, um, it was a really repentant, you know, God forgive me and let me get myself back right. You know, I mean, totally right and not be lazy in my connection with God. How important is it for churches to share this with? Well, how important is it for churches to know about this? You know what? Not just for churches. I think I think something like this should be shown to, to even the unsaved, you know, because I think the unsaved know enough about some of the incidents that have gone on in the world like the Twin Towers and like what we all just went through with are still in the midst of with COVID um, and with it being biblically um, brought out like this, I think that it would be a whole lot of people that would actually take thought to what's being said and not, you know, really take a deep thought, you know, um, and looking at, you know, things that have happened because of us turning away from God. So I think some people might even get saved or even think about giving a life to God from watching a film like this. So one more thing, being that uh, it seems like the church is more oblivious than the world is right now, mm -hmm. the world knows more of information that's taking place than the church. Mm -hmm. So I'm going back to that question again, how important is the church to know because they're like naive right now. <laughs> Oh, it's it's really important, for, but especially with the church, people looking at the church as the lead, right? Or the, those, those that whatever you, re, the religious ones or those that claim that they know God. Oh, it's important for us to know because we might be leading people in the wrong direction. You know, so we need to see the real for ourselves of what's going on, and and so that would even give us a. a to even look within our own selves personally in our individual churches, you know, and what, what we're leading the people to with the sheep, how the sheep are leading the people. I, I think the head really needs to take a look, because the head of the church, you know, to be able to bring it to the people and, and like a song say, get right church and let's go home, you know, so and, and to know that the shepherd is accountable for the sheep. You know, it's very important. As a matter of fact, that's probably where it should start, is in the church. Anything else you want to share with people? Well, I would say if you have the opportunity, don't pass up the chance to see this, to see this showing. It would change your life. If you open up your heart when you come to see it, I, it's a life changer. Well, one of the things that was very important for me was the Feast of the Lord, because a lot of the things that's happening is around the feast days. And so what Jonathan Kahn has spoke about was how people in the other times have moved away from God. And now they're moving into the things of God and his feasts and his festivals. So even for him to bring up the harbingers that have taken place and the dates of which it had taken place and it lines up with Israel, ancient Israel and is now it's America, you have to know the feast. So I just think um, particularly like the 7th, September the 10th when the Pentagon was, was built and now this is the date that the whole place is 9-11, um, not September the 10th, September the 11th. And so this was the birthing of the Pentagon and now this is also the date in which the towers had fallen. So the date 9-11, 
and the impact of the date, and he used three other examples of the same date, September the 11th, and just looking at the times and seasons when things are happening. So for me, it's just really important to know the feast and why it's, it's why the Lord was leading us to learn the feast. Um, he talked about one of the catastrophes that had taken place, and it happened to be on Passover. So for us to know the feast is, is so important, but most of all, to see how he lined it up and where he came from, how when he was an atheist, and then he told the Lord, okay, save me when I'm this age, save me. And I had said that myself, you know, so save me when I'm this age. And once he accepted the, the accident took place, you know, he was almost taken out of here. But because the call of God that was on his life, he didn't know, he didn't put the, he just knew he had to get serious with God. So to see his life expressed on film and to see his pictures that he actually took, you know, of himself, you can see where he was at the time and to see where he is now. And then I think the most awesome part was how he was talking about um, the person who I went up and blew the shofar and how they captured right at the towers, even where the plane would, would fall. And, and then he didn't give the name at the time. He, and then he says, well, I've never revealed this before, but I'm going to reveal it now. It was him. So, you know, he was appointed to the end times. And also to hear my mom, Mother Alexander, talk about her dream. And this is who she saw in the dream. You know, it's this is we're in the end time movement. And so God really wants us to go forward in him. Whatever he tells us to do, that's why we had to get religion out the way. We had to get all these things out of the way because the times that we're in is of essence that we hear from God. And the most important thing was if my people. So this is what the Lord was saying to us about three weeks ago. I think the end of the message with if my people who are called by my name. So to see these things, see it on, on the film and know why, because the judgments are real. It, it's not going to go away. The judgments are factual. They're real unless the people of God repent. So I think everybody should see this film. I mean, if you if you seen if you've seen any other um, what releases before, this is the one because this is the one that's not trying to hype up um, aliens, not trying to hype up all kind of stuff with the end times. No, this is real factual things showing you that God is really serious about getting his people to turn back to him. And it was all about the return. And I don't know, when we had left um, our last address uh, for a little while because the shutdown with the COVID, and then when it was time for us to come back, we put out there the return. And it was the same flyer, the return. And then I created a flyer from that, but when we were announcing it, it was the return. And so look at what we're returning to. Then we had to come back to the next location, which was an old location, but it's a historical thing that God is doing. So it gave me so much revelation, but knowing that we're on track, Man, that's the best thing. That's the best thing. Brings you so much relief. We're on track. We're not missing God. God is with us and we're we're following him. And I think that's the best the, the best takeoff of everything is to know that as he moved with God, we're moving with God too. So I, I, I love the film. Anything you want to say to the people to close this out? I would say if, if you have an opportunity to watch the Harbinger things to come, you should go see it. If it's open up, if it comes on video, if it comes on wherever you can buy it, you need to see it because I didn't expect, I was sitting on the floor crying. I, I didn't expect to see what I saw in the way that it was presented. I didn't expect it, but I would just say you need to know, especially if you love the prophetic, because the testimony of the Lord Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. You need to know what's going on.